Good evening and welcome to Let's Play Avedon the Black Fortress. This will be a blind playthrough. Um, I do not know anything about this game. It was a gift to me. I believe this was from Oddbird, so thank you for that. I'm feeling hopeful because you've gifted me some other games that turned out to be pretty cool. And as we can see here, I mean, we've got a castle, so can't go wrong with castles. Looks like, I'm assuming, maybe either a knightly or like a fantasy setting, so that's always great. Uh, you know, I probably should take a look at the instructions. Ooh. Welcome to Avedon. Welcome to the exciting, exotic, and exciting world of Avedon. Avedon is a turn-based fantasy role-playing game. Ah, excellent. You will create a mighty adventurer and take him or her on a quest to the dangerous and war-torn land of Linnaeus. You will receive missions, fight dangerous foes, find powerful magical artifacts, and try to protect your people from those who would destroy them. Battle is turn-based. Okay, so when I'm fighting, I can take a minute to think about what I'm going to do. Alright, alright. To succeed, you need cunning and tactical skill, not fast reflexes. That's good, because my reflexes kind of suck. Okay. Enemies who face dangerous clever, blah, 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 blah. Okay, Servant of Avedon, the Black Fortress. Your leader, Redbeard, will send you on many missions. And along the way, you might find that you don't approve of how Avedon is run. And you can be a loyal servant or not. Oh, excellent! I might decide someone else should be in charge. Hmm... Okay, so I can be loyal or rebellious, kind or cruel. Excellent. So this is an RPG that gives me all kinds of choices. I love that. That sounds great. Uh, I should probably read all of this, but I'm kind of impatient and I don't want to. We're just going to jump in. And if it gets hard and I can't figure out what to do, then off screen I'll go back and look at like how to actually move around and stuff. Otherwise, let's go. Oh, choices. Blade Master. Shadow Walker. Shaman. Sorceress. All right. Okay, so if I want to be a lady, i got to be one of those two, it's looking like. The sorceress has dedicated her life to the mastery of the arcane arts. Fragile in battle, she makes mm, she makes up for it with the ability to summon forth clouds of fire, lightning, or ice, obliterating her foes. But that is not all. Sorceress can cloud the minds of foes, even potentially causing them to fight for her. Okay, that's kind of cool. She can bless allies and curse enemies. She can even use spells to pick locks and disarm traps. Okay, so at first she's sounding like, ah, uh, she's just a glass cannon and I'm not into it, but man... Picking locks and disarming traps is kind of cool, and I like the healing ability. Possibly sorceress. What's the shaman got? Has dedicated her life to nature, and nature, in return, has rewarded her with great power. She can use her connection to the wilds to heal and bless her allies. Okay. And when angered, she can call wind, lightning, and fire to devastate those who challenge her. So she's kind of similar to the sorceress thus far. Oh, but guys, she can call wolves or eventually drakes to serve and protect her. And she has the unique ability to heal wounded allies. Alright, that's, I mean, that's kind of, she can call drakes to help her. And wolves, wolf pack. Alright, Magda might be the one. Shadow walkers are warriors of the shadows. What, he's a ninja? They count on cunning and evasion, slipping through the guards of their enemies and delivering lethal blows. They can attack with blades, thrown razor discs, and pots of noxious and deadly alchemical substances, and then vanish into thin air. They have many tricks to evade, stun, poison, and heavily damage foes. They can pick locks and disarm traps. She can't. She can't pick locks and disarm traps. Playstyle white. Like she sounds really cool. I like. I really like the idea of like calling up wolves. But it is gonna drive me nuts if there's all kinds of like treasure chests and stuff that I can't open with her, but that I could with others. But is it really that important? I mean, it might not be that important to think because the game I'm sure is designed with some amount of balance in mind. So it's probably things in the chest that I don't really. It's mostly the curiosity factor. I want to know what's in the chest. Blade Master, what do you do? True warrior. Most comfortable in a massive suit of plate armor, wielding a sword and shield or a huge halberd, striding boldly into a crowd of foes and sending them flying with mighty blows. Blade Masters are not subtle. I did just finish playing um, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and I was a Bruja, and she was not subtle, and it was pretty awesome. But maybe I should look for a change of pace here. Natural leaders, their war cries can strengthen their allies and weaken their foes. They can also challenge enemies, keeping them, them away from their fragile members of the group. I mean, he's probably not a bit. Tristram. Tristram. Is this a, a reference to Diablo? There's almost a slightly Diablo feel here. Um, perhaps not. Okay, I think she wins just because she looks coolest and her character concept is really cool. She can call wolves and stuff. It's awesome. Um... We'll just deal with not being able to open chests. I'll get over it. Alright, let's do this. Casual, normal, hard, or torment. You'll need to use every trick and fully utilize every ability to defeat. 
game starts out quite easy, but becomes a challenge as you get close to the end. Nice, moderate difficulty level, which I should probably do, but we're going for hard. I feel like, always in past, like, years, years, until I was an adult, I always would play on, like, normal or, like, the easier difficulties, because I was afraid that I just wouldn't be able to handle on hard. And I think I should push myself sometimes. Alright, you are a warrior of the Midlands Pact. The Pact is an alliance of five nations banded together for safety. The Farlands, enemies of the Pact, surround it on all sides. These are nations of barbarians, raiders, titans. Titans? Oh, yeah, these guys are looking rather titany, huh? Faded, jealous empires, all waiting for a sign of weakness. Yeah, I'll be honest, these guys do not look like they can handle that oncoming horde. We'll do our best, though. The Pact has one purpose, to crush the Farlands and keep them weak and divided. Otherwise, they will invade your homeland, take what they want, massacre whoever stands in their way. Yeah, I mean, it'd be better if we could find a way to live in peace or just keep them off our borders, but if they're going to be a continual problem unless we crush them, I guess crushing's what it's got to be, huh? You have spent your life training and preparing to defend the Pact, and you have done well. Your skill and potential has earned you the greatest of honors. You have been sent to serve at a new fortress, Avedon. Is it like a border fortress, right in the thick of things? Avedon, the Black Fortress. The warriors of Avedon watch over the five nations of the Pact. When anyone acts to harm the peace and tranquility of the Pact, Avedon has the authority to destroy them. Its authority and independence are almost without limit. And Avedon's power is not only over the outsiders of the Farlands. Anyone who tries to weaken the Pact from within is subject to punishment. Brigands, spies, politicians, all have reason to fear the eyes of Avedon. I and the attention of its master, Keeper Redbeard. <laughs> he sounds like a pirate. Avedon has watched over the Pact for three centuries. Its warriors wield the finest weapons. Its wizards can learn the most powerful spells. And the Keeper of the Black Fortress, Redbeard, directs them all. Few outsiders know anything about Redbeard. There are plenty of rumors. Some that say that he has three wives, each a deadly warrior. You've heard that assassins try to kill him every week. They all fail, and in turn, receive the most gruesome punishments imaginable. Well, you gotta make an example of him, right? Some believe that Redbeard can see into your dreams. Uh, Redbeard? Outsiders, if they are lucky, never get close enough to Avedon to learn the truth. But you, today you will meet Redbeard yourself. You are standing outside the gates of the Black Fortress. Yeah, I want to know what he's all about. I'm a curious one. You stand on the bridge over a deep misty chasm. The iron gates of Avedon are before you. Beyond is your new life, full of adventure, danger, power, wealth, and service to the pact. The Black Fortress looms over you, perched on an enormous granite peak. The gates open a crack, granting you entrance. You step through, and your service to Avedon begins. Let's do it. Ah. When you are back in Avedon, visit your four com Ah, I went too fast. Visit some people. Welcome to Avedon. These messages will pop up to help you learn to play the game. Excellent. Click somewhere to move your character. Alrighty. So up and down moves my view. Left and right as well? Yep. I clicked on the flowers. Let's do it. Okay, so there's me. Burp. You start to cross Avedon's entry garden. Considering how terrified most of Linnaeus is of this fortress, it seems rather pleasant. Ponds, nicely tended lawn. To the east is another pair of gates leading farther into the fortress. A pair of guards, wearing plate armor and wielding massive swords, stand to either side. There is also an elderly man in long flowing robes. He has a pair of what looks like wolves in front of him. He is shouting commands at them. They don't seem concerned. Alright, keep crossing the courtyard to the east. Oh, and I have a hundred coins. Oh, okay. Alright, WASD, do not move around. A gives me ability. Revive a servant. Healing chant. Call wolf. Yes! Ha 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 Okay, I don't know that. Oh, how do I? Yeah, there we go. So, what else we got here? Can I check things out? Get over here. What's this pot? Nothing. All right, all right. So, head over here, you say? Come here. Okay, yeah. It's gonna take me a little bit. Oh, and there's everybody. Craftmaster Nicodemus. 
And his experimental wolf. What does, what does it mean to be experimental? You get closer to the old man and his two wolves. Though from this distance, you can see that something is not right about these animals. Like their lack of hair and their purple flesh and the veins throbbing all along their backs and legs. The man in robes is holding up a scrap of meat and giving suggestions like stand, sit, roll over. The wolf creatures don't respond. Then you get close, which gets an instant reaction out of them. They turn and look at you, and they bare their teeth and begin to snarl. I'm not backing away. I'm not going to ask for help. We're just going to watch them. The twisted wolf things are no longer distracted by the pitiful scraps of meat the old man dangles before them. You seem much softer and fresher. However, the old man and the guards don't seem to react to this. They just watch, silently and with interest. Well, yeah. No, we're not asking for help? I almost want to tell him to call him back before I have to destroy them, but instead we'll talk to him. Is this meant to be some sort of test? The guards smile, perhaps thinking back to trials of their own, but the old man shakes his head. A test? No. You are a hand. You are supposed to aid in my work. This is your job. I will explain more when you are done. The creatures lurch clumsily towards you, one to your right, one to your left, and they start to run, teeth bared. All right, let's fight them. You have little equipment, but you were not foolish enough to travel through the wilderness without a weapon. You prepare to rid the garden of the old man's pets. When the wolves attack, we'll enter combat mode. All right, let's have it. Rawr. Okay, so in battle, all of the characters take turns. During your turn, you can move, attack, cast spells, use items, and so on. Press the space bar to end your turn early. To attack a wolf, click on it. All right. Okay, we're going to finish the one that we already hit. There we go. Excellent. The hideous wolf creatures lie at your feet, dead. The guards, realizing that they have a mess to clean up, look annoyed. Well, maybe they should have stepped in. The old man just looks sad. Well, why didn't you call them back? Another month of work gone. I suppose I must work on my other trinkets for a while. I... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Craftmaster Nicodemus, one of the mages of Abaddon. I think I will be helping you in the future. Well, you didn't help me here. You just watched while your creatures attacked me. And now you're bummed that they didn't, what, kill me successfully? Um, okay. So, you called me a hand, eh? Oh, yes. Redbeard has hands, eyes, and hearts. I am an eye, and... Oh, I'm sure this will be explained inside. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hands, eyes, and hearts, huh? Are you a hand whatever your starting class? Or if I picked something else, would I be an eye or a heart? Alright, so, you'll be helping me, eh? Oh, yes. You're one of Redbeard's new hands, yes? When you're given tasks, I will be giving you the benefit of my magic. Some of it even works better than these constructions. He waves at the wolves. Yeah, yeah, I hope they do work better than that. Okay, I don't really want to how dare you send your creatures. Because he didn't send his creatures, he just failed to restrain them. I was glad to help. Not especially, but, you know, we just got here. No point making enemies right off the bat. So, who do I report to? Nicodemus nods. That's the spirit. But you do not report to me. I was only trying to train the creatures here to get away from the chaos inside. I suppose... Train the creatures to get away from the chaos. Oh, he wanted to get away if it took me a second to parse. So he wanted to get away from the chaos. He took the opportunity to train his creatures. Got it. So what's going on inside that's so chaotic? I suppose you should see Hart Miranda. I think she's waiting for you, and she will explain where you need what you need to know. Very well. Where's she at? Craftmaster Nicodemus makes a signal. The gates begin to slowly open. Miranda is inside, directing things. There's been a serious disturbance. What kind of disturbance? And she will be happy for your help. Now, please excuse me. Then he turns to his wolves, going down on one knee to examine them. Okay. Well, he doesn't seem like the most helpful person, but we'll make do. Oh, I can press this button. I'm still in combat, yeah. Or I can type F. Very well. Do you have anything else to say? Craftmaster Nicodemus is distracted by the dead wolves. He examines them closely, trying to figure out what he can do to not create something so hideous and useless next time. <laughs> he mutters, I'm busy. Go see Hart Miranda. Okay, good luck with that. What about this guard? Avedon has many guards, all of them outfitted in fine armor and the highest quality weapons. They are warriors in the service of the Black Fortress, but they are not sent out into the field. They all regard you with a mix of contempt for your inexperience and envy at your potential. And, of course, should you turn out to be an assassin sent to kill Redbeard, they are ready to kill you. Well, as they should be. 
Let's go inside then. You step into the entry, entry courtyard of Avedon. Fresh supplies are stacked everywhere, waiting to be distributed to the warriors and craftspeople. When Avedon wants something, it gets it. However, the atmosphere of the fort is not what you expected. It is chaos. Guards and workers are running everywhere. You hear shouting in the distance. The smell of smoke, and you think blood, hangs in the air. After a lifetime of hearing how deadly and invulnerable Avedon is, this chaos is somehow even more worrying. A woman stands in the middle of the courtyard, an island in the chaos, and directs the workers. This must be the Miranda you are supposed to present your letter of introduction to. Let's do it. Also, how do I see... Aha! Inventory. So, we just got pants and tunic. Oh, and they have weights, so we're going to have to keep... <laughs> like pants for your chest! <laughs> no adventurer should ever be without a nice, freshly laundered pair of pants. We don't even have shoes or anything. Oh, we're going to have to gain some stuff on the way. Okay. What else we got here? Eh, just clicking on these doesn't do it. I'm going to have to... Maybe I need to close this. There we go. Journal and quest log, inventory, ability... Alright, so we can't actually see the letter that we have. That's fine. Alright, so there's our lady. What else have we got, though? Just a worker. Of course, Avedon requires a host of servants, cooks, craftspeople, and so on to keep it functioning. They are well paid, well fed, and at constant risk of falling victim to escaped prisoners, deranged assassins, or malfunctioning magical experiments. They are brave folk, then. All of them recognize your rank and relatively high importance. They give you satisfyingly humble nods before they continue about their work. Okay, what else do we have here? I kind of want to look all around before we commit to talking to our lady. You enter Avedon's main storeroom, where most of the food, wood, and so on brought to the Black Fortress are kept. There has recently been a fight here. The stone floor is scorched, and splatters of blood dot the walls. The wounded, and dead, have been hauled away. Only one person is visible from here. A young sorceress stands by the scorched area, looking down at it. She is smiling. Is it her handiwork? Okay, looks like a scorch over here. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I want to fight. What you got, Nathalie? There is a young sorceress standing here, looking down at scorch marks on the ground. You soon realize that she is not Heart Miranda. Oh, and I can't even talk to her. Bummer. Okay, well, I just kind of want to just look, just to get an idea of everything. Sevelyn. Young warrior patrolling the storeroom, carefully watching the passage to the south. Well, obviously he's not Heart Miranda. You are at the entrance to the Avedon Dungeons, final resting place of many foolish enough to fight the pact. You notice that a heavy cloak has been left on a table nearby. It might be wise to put it on before descending into the low tunnels. Alright, deal. I'm happy with more armor. Where's this cloak at? Or did I automatically get it? Ah, oh, cloak. Yes. So how do I put it on... Click on item on the ground to move it to your pack. There we go. And then click again to pick it up. So we picked it up and... Oh, okay, here we go. So where do I know that you have it? Click to equip. Excellent! Hey, hey! We got our first additional armor piece. Awesome. This wheel controls the gate to the dungeons. You start to turn it, but then you realize that you might want to actually report to someone in Avedon first and find out what you should be doing. This is true, this is true. Alright, we'll leave it alone. But that does make it seem like we can perhaps at some point go back there and have something to do. Oh, and that's it for that. I just wanted to... Ooh. Ah, nice. Some gloves and a hat. Oh, I'll put them on. Gloves? Yes. And hat. Alright, what's over here? Oh, this is suspicious. Hmm, okay. And then we can't get through that. Okay. 
Okay, so we got all that. What's well, this way? There are several locked storerooms back here. They probably contain valuable equipment, reserved for someone important. Though, considering the chaos, you doubt anyone would mind if you borrowed something. However, to get the locks open, oh, you will all need to find some lock picks. Picks break when used. Shadow walkers and sorceresses have skills that reduce the number of picks you need to open a lock. Bummer! So, yeah, there's probably some really cool stuff right off the bat that I could get. Well, I got an animal skin. Three of them, even. Let's see. Encumbered at 42 pounds, wearing 14 pounds. We're good for now. What do we got here? Bolts of cloud. We'll just steal all these <laughs> resources from the Abaddon. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me. Door is locked and I need 12 lock picks. Good gravy. Well, that's not happening. This is going to be something similar, I imagine. You only need two. Did this really say 12 or did I totally misread it? No, it says 12. Okay, well, I don't even have two, so... If I find lockpicks, I can come back here. But for now, not useful to me. Okay, and these don't look like things I can click, so we don't need to go over there. Alright, let's have a look over here. Just a guard. We saw it before. And we can't get past his gate right now. What's over here? Yep. Okay, so maybe it's about time to talk to... Oh, Hand Callan. A middle-aged woman crosses the courtyard back and forth, shouting orders to the soldiers and workers. As hands enter and leave, she grabs them and gives them extra jobs to do. She wears a well-worn bow over her shoulder, and the insignia on her shoulder shows her to have considerable authority. She looks you over. A new hand. Always good to see, especially in times like these. I am Hand Callan. Hart Miranda will want most of your time, I think, but when she doesn't have her claws in you, you answer to me. Alright, so what you doing here? She laughs. Cleaning up messes. Why don't you come back and talk to me later? Miranda has made it clear that she reserves your labor for herself, and I don't need an argument right now. Go talk to her. Callan returns to work. But this does sound like maybe we can get side quests from her after we talk to Miranda. Alright, Miranda? You walk up to the woman in the middle of the room. Like Craftmaster Nicodemus, she's wearing long, long flowing robes, the traditional garb of the mage. She's in her early fifties. She's served here for a long time. She stops shouting orders and turns to you. Well, pity you didn't show up just a few hours ago. We could have used you. Do you have a letter of introduction? Fortunately, you were given one before you came here. She holds out her hand for it. Okay, I mean, I do want to know all this stuff, but I feel like the smartest thing if you're reporting to the Big Bad Fortress is just give her the letter and then ask your questions. I mean, she gave me an order. This kind of. Do you have a letter? Here you go. She takes the letter, reads it, and nods. Then I formally welcome you, Lavinia, and I declare you a hand of Avedon, with all privileges and responsibilities attached. Congratulations. She wads up the letter and tosses it onto the floor. A servant instantly collects it and carries it off. Normally, there would be a period of settling in, testing, and so on, but we have had some problems. All of our hands are out in the field, and there's something I need you to do. Now. Okay, I will, but, um... So, I'm a hand. What does that mean, exactly? So much to t learn, so little time to teach it. Avedon has hands, eyes, and hearts. And the Keeper. I am a heart, an honored advisor to the Keeper. You are a hand. Your job is to go out and do what needs doing. Makes sense. There will be time to learn more when things are under control. So are eyes like spies then? Uh, where can I learn more? I think there's a book on the topic near the quarters assigned to you. You can read it at your leisure. Later. Alright, and who's the keeper? Surely you've heard of Redbeard, mighty master of Avedon. Yeah. Do well and you will stand before him. Displease him and... She gives you an evil smile. Okay, so let's talk about some other things. Hart Miranda is still directing the workers and guards. She barks out a constant string of orders, which are all instantly obeyed. It's fair to say that everyone is terrified of her. So, what's going on here? You will soon learn that, in Avedon, you are told only what you need to know. This is for your protection and ours. Alright, who decides what I get to learn? 
the keeper and the hearts, like me. And so then what do I need to know at this point? Probably nothing. That we are having a very long day and you need to help us to keep it from getting longer. Okay, I understand, but um, I'm going to make it a little longer because I got questions. So, can you tell me about yourself? I- what? Security is broken. Dozens are dead, and you want to know who am I? I am a heart of Avedon. You will do everything I say, or you will suffer. I think that is clear enough. <laughs> Alright, what do you need me to do? She nods. Yes, enthusiasm. That is what I like to hear. We are trying to get things in the main fortress under control, but we've had to send most of our hands away. That means we need you to enter the dungeons and restore order. Round up some stray prisoners. You do not need to go alone. There are two hands who can help you. They are Sevelyn and Natalie, I believe. I'm not sure if that's meant to be Natalie or Nathalie. Like, it could be Nat and then the H isn't like... I'm just going to say Natalie. Whatever. She points to the south. On the way down to the dungeons, you can choose one of them to help you. Once you have met the other hands, go downstairs and speak with I, Mamora. He will tell you what fires to put out. Very well. Uh, tell me about Sevelyn and Natalie. Young hands like you, eager to distinguish themselves. In one case, extremely painfully eager. I can spare one of them for your cleanup task. All right, and what am I doing in these dungeons? That's up to I, Mamora. Do what he says. You may use any equipment you may find, and if you survive, it will reflect very well upon you. Um, that is vague. And if I can potentially die, I kind of do want to know why. Trust me, at the moment of your death, you will not care in the slightest about why it happened. Now you are here, and it's time for you to serve. Go. <laughs> I kind of like her. She does not mess around. So, to the dungeons. The recent disruption has enabled many prisoners in the Avedon dungeons to escape. Go south and speak with Sevelyn and Natalie, the hands who can help you to regain control. Then go downstairs, find I, Mamora, and do whatever he tells you to do. Very well. So who do we want to have help me then? And where are they at? They're both over in this way, that's right. Where'd she go? Okay, what are all these stars? So that one is... I don't know, she's... All right, all, some people I'm not going to see until I'm like right next to them, right? Okay. Um, yeah, there she is. I'm inclined to, to get her. Alright. When you get close to the young sorceress, she looks up at you. She's breathing hard, still charged with adrenaline from a recent battle. I did it! I killed them! By myself! Not that I will get any notice for it, of course. She takes a moment to calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Natalie, a hand of Avedon. I've spent long enough waiting for action that I need to take a moment to luxuriate in it. Okay, uh, what happened here, Natalie? Three wretches came out of the dungeon. I was in the main courtyard when I heard them. I surprised and dispatched them, but not before... Um... Wretches? Vile little humanoids, dumb and hungry. The scourge of the known lands. I don't know why Redbeard would bother to keep them around. Um, what do you mean, vile little hum... I'm not sure I like your tone here. Uh, did they do any harm? They killed the quartermaster. Okay, yeah. Not a warrior, but a good man. I spent many hours speaking with him while waiting for something to do. A minute earlier and I might have saved him. Alright. What else you got? So, I'm also a hand. She nods. You have the look. And a weapon. I hope you have more luck getting sent out than I do. Yeah, I'm supposed to put the dungeons in order. She looks startled. What? You? No offense, but you've been here, what, ten minutes? When some of us have been waiting. She's the extremely eager one, huh? Once again, she calms down. But you will probably need help. Isn't that the case? Taking one of the other hands with you to share in the glory? Yes? You've been itching for a fight, huh? Of course, I've spent my life working, training, and sharpening my talents to fight for Avedon. All those years, sun up to sun down, and my reward? Sitting in the Black Fortress, waiting to be allowed to risk my life. Yes, I want to fight. I ask and ask, but here I stay. Um, I can take one, but I don't know that I want to take you. It doesn't take her long to do the math. One hand out of two. Me and Sevelyn, the warrior. Well, speak to Sevelyn and compare. She looks at the scorched marks. I am eager and competent. He is, well, you can see for yourself. When you go downstairs, if you wish, I will come and join you. But you will select me, yes? Well, what can you do for me? I'm a trained sorceress. I can summon bolts of fire and ice and direct them at our foes. I do not rely on crude armor or mundane weapons, however, so you might wish to help me keep a safe distance from our foes. Yeah, I don't know that I'm actually into that. We will see. 
You see the gleam of enthusiasm in her eyes. All right, I will be standing ready. Okay, so I'll get the choice. Um, where's Sev? He's back here. There is a young warrior standing guard by the passage to the south. Keep him close watch in case anything else nasty comes out of it. He turns to look at you. You see that he's about your age. His face bears a nasty scar, running diagonally down his face. That means that he actually has some kind of experience with violence, and probably a bit more respect for the possible dangers than our gal over there does. He says, Greetings, I'm Sevelyn. You are here to stand guard with me? No, I suppose not. We need to go fight now, don't we? I knew the time would come. I'll follow my orders. I always do. Uh, you've been wounded. Are, are you okay? At first, Sevelyn isn't sure what you mean. He looks down at his armor, looking for signs of an injury. Then he realizes that you are referring to his scar and laughs bitterly. You mean this? This is an old mark. Easy to forget it's there. I only remember it when I look in the mirror. Or when a stranger sees me. Okay, well, um, it's prying and maybe I should let it go, but... Let's, let's talk about it. You don't have to be so upset about it. How'd it happen? He looks exasperated. Even if I enjoyed discussing it, this is not the best time. Okay, that's a fair point. So, you can still fight? I mean, obviously, he wouldn't be here if he couldn't, but that's our option, so... Of course, if I'm ever chosen for a mission again. Okay, I got another question. So, what you doing here? Just trying to be evade. When things went wrong this morning, all of the hands were sent out on this mission or that. Only I was left, he points to the north, and Natalie. When wretches came out of the dungeons, I thought I would stand guard until someone found a use for me. Gate is closed, but wretches can slip through the bars. So, uh, what did go wrong? I don't know. The hearts and eyes won't share any information with someone as lowly as me. As far as I can tell, something exploded and everything escaped from the dungeons below. The hands can't help, because they've all been sent out of the fortress on missions. He absentmindedly touches his scar. Being a servant of Avedon doesn't keep us safe. Just the opposite. Okay, well, do you know what's happening in the dungeon right now? No, but it must have been ugly. A few of the guards on duty down there made it out. Hmm. Well, um... I'm going down there. He nods. I'm not surprised. Miranda needs to send a hand down there to clean it up. You show up, in need of testing. I'm not offended that I was passed over. Why do you think you're passed over? She said I could take someone with me, and I have the feeling that probably you're the more level-headed one to bring. I do not question the wisdom of Redbeard or the hearts. They choose to descend into danger for their own reasons. I have learned to simply, quietly accept. All right, well, I can take someone with me, so... For a moment, his eyes show a glint of interest, maybe even hope. I came to Avedon to serve. I have spent too long not serving. I was born to fight. I'm ready. All right, what will you do for me? I'm a blade master of Avedon. I can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with our foes and defeat them with blade and armor. And if needed, I can stand in their way to keep them from reaching you. That actually sounds excellent. I would love to have a meat shield. So, um, you're ready? He wraps his armor with his knuckle. And he rests one hand on the pommel of his blade. I will give everything to prove I can still be a warrior of Avedon. All right, prove it. You sound like the guy. He pats his blade with a gauntleted hand. And I am ready. Okay, excellent. So, time to go in. And this little doohickey seemed like the thing last time. Excellent. This wheel controls the gate to the dungeons. With great effort, you turn it. Gate opens, clearing your path. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Did it clear? It just opened this one door, right? Yeah, there's got to be alternate ways to open these ones. Very well. In we go. All right. Yeah, we are totally taking Sevelyn. That's kind of nice. That Look at their health is the same. I didn't expect that. I thought that the sorcerers would, you know, being frailer, would have much lower health, but nope. Okay. Oh, look at that. Five nations of the Midlands Pact. All right. Do we really switch between melee and missile? Type W. I'll need to remember that. All right. You stand at the doors into the Avedon Dungeons, possibly the most terrifying place in Linnaeus. The most dangerous conspirators against the Pact are brought here. Every once in a while, one of them emerges. Again. It is dark down here. In the absence of guards, the lights have gone out. That's... I mean, they're bad guys down there, but that would be kind of horrible if you're stuck in a dungeon where it's just pitch black. 
Happily, several lamps have been left on the table nearby. So get a lamp, and when it's in the pack, you can press the star button next to it to use it. And scrolls and potions work the same way. Alrighty. Um, go get the lamp. Yeah, lamp first. Lamp? These, these, these are the lamps, right? They must not be if it's not highlighting. You walk into the dungeon. Normally, the torches would be lit and heavily armed guards would be standing at attention. The jailers would be waiting to collect and process new inmates. And there wouldn't be giant rats everywhere. Giant rats! Yeah, right on cue, squeaking at me. But the disaster upstairs has left everything abandoned. You can hear shouting and snarling in the distance, but the entry chamber is cold and dark. But not still. As you step onto the walkway, little pairs of lights appear in the shadows to the south. They're eyes, aren't they? Then they start to move toward you. With the guards gone, the pests in the tunnels far below Avedon have started to emerge. Alright, Sav. We're gonna have to fight just a bunch of rats over here. Huge rat. Okay. Whoops. I didn't mean to run him all the way up there. That wasn't well thought out. He's gonna get swarmed. Okay, well, we'll finish that one off for him. Okay, good. They missed him. He might be okay. Oh, Sav, you missed. Same is not so great, huh? Alright, we got him though. We're good. So, let's look around a bit. Hmm, okay. Interesting door over here. Or all kinds of stuff this way. Let's look at the water. Suddenly, a reassuring light appears to the north. Someone has just lit a torch. He shouts, Is that support at last? Come here, quickly. This is a good time to save the game, if you haven't already. Well, let's take that advice. Hang on, hang on. Ah! You emerge into a large office. So, someone saying, calling for help. Is this reinforcements? Is this someone who actually needs reinforcements? Or is this going to be a trap? A fence rings an area with desks and shelves heavy with records. New inmates are brought here and sat down, while scribes record their arrival, crime, and recommended processing. There are some chains and cages, usually used for wild beasts and monsters in need of examination. When humans are brought here, they're usually just left on the benches. Few are foolish enough to think they can escape from this place. There is a man in a leather jerkin standing by the far desk. He waves at you. A hand at last. Hurry. I don't Is he legit, though, or is he an escaped prisoner? Um, okay, yeah, we should probably go ahead and save. Boring. Save one. Okay. Um... Oh, I'm Amora. The last eye on duty in the dungeons walks up to you. He is an aging man with a thick leather jerkin and a broadsword held awkwardly in his hand. He nods to you. I am I'm Amora of Hulklanda, the master of the Abaddon dungeons. I'm pleased to see you, though I confess I thought that I might have been aided earlier. And, I might add, with more force. But we will do what we must. Okay, so you're a dungeon master, huh? He nods somberly. I am. That is why I stayed when the others fled. It is my duty to stay and fight. In safer times, I look out for the prisoners. I keep them safe, which we need to do. Oh, no, that's... It's kind of nice to have someone who has a little bit of compassion for the prisoners. I mean, yeah, the prisoners and they're bad guys, but... They're still people, and depending on, you know, the level of crime committed... You can't just, like, have giant rats eating them and whatever. And I pull from them the information that Redbeard requires to protect the pack. Ah! Do the prisoners ever leave? Like... Term finished and released? He nods. Of course. We always make it clear to our prisoners they have a chance to leave unharmed. All we need is all useful information they possess. And, of course, we need to believe that they no longer threaten the pact. If this is the case, we send them home to serve as a valuable example of the might of Avedon. Okay, I mean, that sounds fair. And if you don't send them back? All true threats to the pact are slain in a quick and merciful manner. Their ashes are then promptly returned to their families so that they are not left in an unpleasant state of doubt. Yeah, I mean... Sounds like it's working how a prison should work. Alright, what else? Uh, what happened down here? I'm not sure. It is the result of something that happened above, something I still have not been informed about. 
A pulse of energy from upstairs disrupted our magical wards, enabling some prisoners and held creatures to escape. They, in turn, helped others out. There was, as you might expect, a fierce battle. Some prisoners fled. Okay, so where's everyone now? Many of the prisoners are dead or were returned to their cells. Some keepers were slain. Others went upstairs to safety. And what threats remain? Obviously giant rats. There are abandoned tunnels under Avedon, and some pests have taken this chance to emerge. They will need to be slain. Also, some prisoners are still loose on this level. Many of them will have been devoured by the pests. Others, however, will have to be hunted. Okay. And... Where did all the rats come from? Probably the tunnels he just mentioned. The deep cells. There's a network of old tunnels and cells below the main dungeon that was abandoned and sealed off. Well, sealed not that well if the rats got through. It is a home for pests. Rats, spiders, other beasts that are sure to emerge. Uh, yeah, why is it not all sealed off so they can't get through? We've considered expanding into them, rebuilding and so on. This disaster is making me reconsider those plans. I see. So, how do I get there? I'm Amora, points to the southeast. The stairway down to the old tunnels is in the secure cells. However, I can't give the key, give you the key to the cells. You must obtain it from a superior, such as, say, Han Kalen. So I'm going to have to go out and then come back in. Alright, I can handle that. And now Miranda sent me to help you. What do you want me to do? I'm Amora Nods. It is overdue. Now that we are regaining full control of Avedon, it's time to retake the tunnels. They're infested by a wide variety of pests. Rats, spiders, nothing surprising. These must be slain. Also, I've been questioning the keepers as they emerge from the tunnels and go upstairs to safety. There are four prisoners who are unaccounted for. These should still be out there in the shadows. You must find them or verify that they have left this level. I closed the gate to the inner caves when I saw that the monsters were loose. I'll try to open it for you. Okay, so what do you want me to do with these prisoners when I find them? Do I need to kill them? They must be found. As long as they are located and don't seem inclined to leave, you may spare them. Or not. As a hand, you have the authority to decide their fates. Alright, and who are they? There are four. He consults a scroll. A wretch named Graz, a Chimerian savage named Hansi, a tricky young mage from the Tawan Empire named Quiria, and most dangerously, Shadow Tarkas. Of course, that treacherous creature did not hesitate to try to slip away. As the keepers emerged, they told me where they last saw the lost prisoners. Ooh, and now I've got some markings. Okay, so tell me about a wretch. What exactly is a wretch? Graz is a sniveling little creature. Is he like a goblin or something? We were trying to learn who was selling weaponry in the wretch lands. He knew nothing. We were going to release him, though he may have jeopardized that mercy by trying to escape. Alright, I mean, if he didn't actually know anything, I might just... I'm inclined to pro... I don't really want to kill them unless there's, like, actual reason to. So tell me about the Chimerian. Chimerians are barbarians, shamans, and warriors of the plains. I'm a shaman. Truly savage and cruel, not like our allies in the Wild Realm. Hansi was leading raiding parties into Wild Realm battle lands. Happens often, but we need to make an example of them occasionally. Hansi suffered, surrendered all of his information to us freely, so we were planning to release him. Okay, so again, if you were going to release this guy anyhow, I don't really want to kill him. Okay, tell me about this Tawan mage. Particularly vicious rebel. Truly filled with hate for us. She was spying in Calamdariel uh, when we caught her. I hope she can be spared. The scrying of her mind was going well. We found the existence of some conspirator named Telus in the Tawan Empire. I'm eager to find more. Okay, so she's kind of a bad person, but best to not kill her because we can still get valuable information from her. What about Shadow Tarkas? A spy and assassin. Blade for hire, a killer for coin. However, he only works to harm the Pact and the warriors of Avedon. Catch capturing him was very difficult and required a good deal of luck. If you find him, you may wish to get help as quickly as possible. By now, he is sure to have armed himself. He is very dangerous. Okay, so he's he's like the key fella here. Yeah, could he be the one who set this all off? But no, he said it was something from above. The possibilities occurred to me. However, it's unlikely. He's been continuously chained with our most secure spells. Whoever caused this disaster, it was not him. But maybe someone in league with him. Okay, I think that's all I've got, but just in case. Okay, yep. So then, you found I, Momora, in the Avedon dungeons. He told you to enter the dungeons and secure them. So we gotta find Graz, Hansi, Quiria, and Shadow. Shadow Tarkas. So currently at this point, I'm thinking, I'd definitely spare the first three. Why not? The first two, because they were going to be released anyhow. And I can understand, you know, if they're in this prison and they're terrified and maybe they didn't, weren't sure they'd be allowed to escape, that they, if they, or wouldn't be allowed 
to go free legitimately than if the opportunity comes to escape, maybe I, I can't hold it against him for trying. Um, so we'll spare them. Quiria, we will spare because we need the information she's got, but I mean, I feel I feel like the first two maybe we'll be able to talk them calming calmly into coming back with us. Quiria, we might have to. It'll be a trickier one. Shadow Tarkus, that may well just be a battle. We'll see. Okay. So he said, go southeast. So what? This other door back here then? I'm betting. So what else is up here? Some papers, dice. Let's just take everything because we can. Who knows what's going to end up being useful. Ooh, dagger. Um, let's see. Two to sit. Oh, my apprentice rod is way better. But maybe I can sell the dagger. What about this one? Potion of recovery. All right. Okay. So, where does this door go then? Open door. The door is locked. You don't have the key and the lock cannot be picked. Well, we're not messing with that one. This looks like things are still kind of... I don't see any enemies so far. What do we got? Trash. I mean, I doubt I need trash, but what if I do need trash? We'll, we'll keep it. And then if it becomes apparent that it's not necessary, then we can just drop it somewhere. Okay, so... No, one of the ones we need is over here. And then there's one over here. Okay, so then let's look way down on the map. Is anybody like down here? All right, then I think what I really want to do is check out that door there. And you know what? It may well be locked anyhow. Um, I suppose we'll see. Where even am I? Yeah, there we go. Head on over. Go through this door. It's locked. Yeah. So, no need to worry about it. Okay then, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and next time we will set about finding our four dangerous prisoners. I think probably a good starting point will be the first two that they were going to release anyhow. Like, yeah, this one is Gross, so. Plus I really want to know what a wretch is, so let's find him first so we can see what a wretch is. Then we'll look for um, Hansi, and then we'll figure out the other two after that.